know, there's one thing that all fugitives from the law have in common. They're all looking over their shoulder just to see if anybody's caught up with them yet. And that is where we look to you to help law enforcement. We are back with Most Wanted Monday. And Lieutenant Tim Robinson with the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Good to see you, sir. And you got a, you got a capture. Yeah, we got one. Yeah. Uh, Terrence yeah. Heyman. Uh, I think he actually surrendered at the end of last week. So, hey, we'll take it. Good thing. Got him off the street. Yes. We need to do better in one, though. Yes, we but one is better than none. You got six more for us. Got six more that I'm hoping your viewers will know something about. And first two are repeat profiles and they're wanted for some pretty uh, interesting and serious charges. So we definitely want to get these first two uh, brought right. in. Well, take a good look then here at Kalite Ferreris. Yes, Kalite Ferreris, he is wanted on a bench warrant that was issued when he um, was in charged with sex charges involving a minor. We last know him to have an address right here in Salisbury. He did not show up to court. So if anybody knows where Mr. Ferreris is, please contact Crime Solvers right away so we can get him brought in and answer these charges. And Richard Nathaniel Jones has some similar charges. Yes, we've been looking for Richard Nathaniel Jones for a few weeks now. And we, we've got a little bit of information, but just not the right piece to close in. Right. And he is also wanted for some pretty serious charges. He was arrested and charged also with sex abuse of a minor and assault. While he has failed to comply with his pretrial conditions, so the judge says, you can't be out there anymore. They want you to be brought back in, and we can't find him. Okay. The law enforcement can't find him. So if anyone knows where Mr. Jones is, please call Crime Solvers so we get him also brought in. Get a hold of these guys. Also get a hold of Brennan Alexander Cornish. Mr. Cornish, we believe him to be right here in Salisbury. He is wanted on a bench warrant that was issued when he did not show up to appear for a case where he had been charged with CDS possession with the intent to distribute. Mm -hmm. So if anybody knows where Brennan Cornish is, please uh, pick up the phone and give Crime Solvers a ring. All right, number four, Kimberly Denise Pinkett. Kimberly Pinkett, we believe her right here in Salisbury. She is wanted on a bench warrant that was issued when she did not show up to answer the charges of burglary in the first degree. So if anybody knows where Miss Pinkett is, just pick up the phone, give Crime Solvers a ring. All right, this guy is Donald Matthew Randall. Donald Randall, uh, we have an address for him for your viewers up in Delaware, up around in the Greenwood area. We want him uh, connection with some serious traffic charges. So if anybody of your viewers up there know where he is, go ahead and give Crime Solvers a call. It's absolutely no issue whatsoever to get him brought back from Greenwood. So if you know where Mr. Randall is, please give us, please give Crime Solvers a call. And we can get him brought back to uh, Wacomico County. We'll be sharing that number here in just a second. The last of six, Richard Lee Sparks. Richard Sparks, we have an address for him in Pittsville. Uh, he is wanted on a bench warrant that was issued when he uh, violated the terms of his probation in a case where he had already been convicted of rogue and vagabond and some serious traffic charges. So if anyone knows where Richard Sparks is, again, just like the other ones, pick up the phone, call Crime Solvers, and we'll get this person brought in with the right tip. And we can take another look at these pictures online, right? Yes, they'll be online, they'll be on Facebook, and um, they'll be on your website. So there's many other avenues to see them. But? But if you want the money, you've got to call into uh, Crime Solvers. The only way to get the money is it's not paid by the Sheriff's Office, it's not paid by the, any other police department in the area. It's paid by Crime Solvers. And Crime Solvers is an independent organization that mm -hmm. we're involved with, and they take it upon themselves to determine the validity of the information, how good it was, and, and if it does lead to an arrest, they're going to make a cash payment. If, you're, if that person's an anonymous individual's tip is helpful, it will lead to some amount of a cash reward. Mm -hmm. They paid everything from you know smaller rewards up to the big ones, a thousand. Even some cases, they they have a mechanism to exceed one thousand dollars if it is wow. really that big. And that phone number four ten five four eight seventeen seventy six. And again, they never ask your name. It's all the numbers. Never ask your name. It's a good business right, right. there. Lieutenant Robinson, thank you. We're going to get you some more. Right.